Oh, this would be big if this Aussie can ride this one. Whoop, whoop. Oh, Brady hung up in the bullfighters. Cody Webster. Grabbing the tail of that rope, and man, Brady. There you go. Now shook loose. Billings, Montana, how about it for your U.S. Border Patrol safety team? Woo. Look, we said this at the top of the show. The brave men and women that protect our nation's borders, a lot of similarity in the brave men who put it all on the line and sacrificed themselves. Look at these three. Webster trying to get in there. Frank trying to get in there. Jesse trying to get in there and get that bull's attention. Yep. And the not quit attitude huh. of these three got look at Webster. No Go doubt. Ahead. Hey, you okay? Hey, did you, at about three seconds in, you just got to tell him to let go. Stop. The good just news let, is. Just let go. <laughs> All four of them on their feet and walking out of here. What do you say, Billings, Montana? How about it? We need this. Trace Brown. I'm on my game tonight. Look out. You I can tell. You. Feeling it. Oh, and Frank's back. Look at that. Uh oh, here Come we on, go. Frank. Come on, Frank. Wow. <laughs> there it is. Wow. And then there's that. And then we have an opportunity here at the Cooper Tires Invitational presented by Area to Say. Solid, here we go. Come on, Lucas. Need a ride. Yep, yep. Wow. Absolutely. Lucas Davino cracking it here in round number one. I'm going to have to take him to Montana Liquor, get some Pendleton whiskey tomorrow to celebrate. How about 86 and a half points? 86 and a half. Good. Good. Lucas, Lucas, into the camera, into the camera. Do it. Da, 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 da. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm no, that's awesome. I mean, I'm no expert, but I knew that ride was going to move him into the top two. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's, that's right. it. Way to go out on a limb. <laughs> is relatively new. Yeah, the man that won the PBR Canada Championship. Woo, wow. Yeah. No. Uh, Ah! Oh, that's it. Ah! Yes, that is, Richard. <laughs> Look, at Look at old Ty. That guy's a cowboy. He's a cowboy. <laughs> so, I was going to tell him something. What's this? Here we go. There two is. for two, Frank. Ooh. Two for two, Frank. Let's go. Get it. Oh, Ooh. right in the numbers. Hey. Split them. This, this just in. The Jets have drafted Frank Newsom for quarterback. They, they should. Let's see. Never mind. That's all right. 16 seconds. Doesn't need him. Here we go. Oh, oh my goodness. Holy Nessie. Going to take care of Hunter Ball. And a no score in the new dart replay. And, whoo. Round one, getting underway, the high-flying kid from Michigan coming down. And the top 20 ranked bull riders in the world, that round leaderboard, it will change. Four, three, two, calling for him. Woo! Wow. Emanuelito. And after a shot like that, the fact that he is up. Watch this new dart replay. Watch this new dart replay right here. Whoop. And the fact that he, the fact that he got up so quickly and walked out of that arena, 
So impressive. And speaking of impressive. Did you see that? How about that, Cowboy? The Iceman, Kaiki Pacheco. Look out. Oh, man, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, how about the Iceman, Kaiki Pacheco? Look at it. We have a race on our hands. Man. For a PBR world title. Take a look at this new dart replay. Told you he's the number three bull rider in the world. But yes. what, what else did I tell you? He's won more rounds than anybody else this That's season. Right. And if he can keep doing that at the world finals, yep. look out. The numbers are in. How about 88 and a half points? Here we go. Come on, let's help him. Come on, Dakota. Come on, Billings! Let's go! <laughs> Woo. Ladies and gentlemen, Browning Montana's Dakota Lewis! Boy, he will not be denied, no doubt. What a clutch bull ride for Dakota Lewis. The new dart replay, Matt West, right now, never won at this event. What are the numbers? Time for the lead, 88 and a half. Perfect. Look at that. The Montana man, the number two ranked bull rider in the world in Black Friday. Oh, no. Ooh, and that got ugly at the end of this one, Matt. Yeah, a violent shot. Yes. That Dalen took, and again, look at those three incredible bullfighters. Watch the back end of this new dart replay. That's bad enough, but right there. And again, Frank, Jesse, Cody, right where they need to be. No doubt. I am pretty much right where I need to be, too. Just about four rows up. Right here by the sleeper. Stop. Oh, my God. Let's wake her up. And he's going to have to deal some aces on poker chip. Here we go. Watch him. Perfect. And welcome, Josh Frost. Oh. And let the locks flow, however. I like the haircut, there's no doubt, but there's some drama. Yeah, they're going to go back and take no. another look at it. All right. No brainer. We might go down Good. the third man down on the arena floor for the analysis. Flint, what's going on down there? Well, they're reviewing it on time, I think, Clint, but in my opinion, it's a no brainer and a waste of our time. Well, that's <laughs> why you're the best in the business. That's right, Clint. Watching the free arm. Folks here, obviously you guys have been to a ton, but if you don't know the exact rules, you cannot touch the bull yourself or the equipment in any part of that eight second ride. No brainer! And the decision is in. You're right, it's a no-brainer, he made it. Tell him. Not only did he make it, score good enough to go to the top three on the weekend, 87 and a half points. This is my neighbor from Crockett, Texas, Boudreaux Campbell in Airborne. Wow. That bull covered a lot of ground yeah. really quickly. He did, and boy, you want to talk about scary. Uh-huh. For Boudreaux Campbell in that corner right now. And fighting, I mean, it has been an injury plague season for him, and here it is. Whack! I think he got kicked on the way out. Yeah, he's going to walk out of here, the sports medicine, checking him out. He's good to go. And 
And that looks good on you, Cowboy. Yeah, no doubt. 28-year-old Leonardo Lima. Ring of fire. Whoa, hey! Whoa, no, 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 no. Right, that ain't right, that ain't right. Yeah, heads up. And uh, you can see Leonardo trying to gather the air. Scary, scary moment there. Watch this back on the replay. He... Ooh, but look at the situational awareness of the guys down front to open that gate, make sure that he did not get trapped behind that bull. Great job. Do me a favor. How about you pay off the unsung heroes down there? Our crew, an absolutely incredible crew that we have here with us every weekend. Yep, no doubt. So Marching in the right way. Right here, Colton. Let's get there. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Matt, talk about this guy sitting on the sidelines. Look, last season he started gangbusters. He has been out for nearly a year and he came back. I asked him on the road to the World Finals TV show earlier this week. Yep. Are you worried about the finals? He said, nope. Let's just take it one bull at a time. It works for him here tonight. How about 87 points? Perfect. Folks, keep your eye on that young man right there. No doubt. Great job, Colton Fritzlin. World Finals yet again. No doubt. Matt Triplett, Montana. <laughs> M-O-N-T-A-N-A, -A, Montana. these riders the ones that are trying to make a finals appearance the ones that are jockeying for a world title and while we were talking about what the fans were witnessing Keyshawn Whitehorse thrown out side the shoot by homebrew and Mac touch on right for all the non riders out there and there are a number of us what that feels like to actually feel the earth underneath you catapult you further away from the steel. Well, yeah, and look, this is a 16, 1700 pound bull right there, and those steel bucking shoots have no give on them. So when they start firing in there, it can get really, really dangerous. People think of bull riding as once the gate opens, it's a, it's a really dangerous sport. No, it starts being dangerous way before that. You can train them to start being bad in there. Sean Whitehorse is going to leave with a bad taste in his mouth as homebrew got very ugly at the end. And let's hope Keyshawn is no worse for wear. Yeah, homebrew, we talked about that coin flip with this bull left or right around to the left here. And Keyshawn starts a pretty good ride, gets him tipped out over short, and then there's just no room. This bull's turning back so close. There is no room when he throws Keyshawn off except for in back into the shoots. Keyshawn hobbles out, and he is one of our not only more athletic riders, but one of the younger ones as well. Great start when he got to come on tour, and then a little bit of injury and trying to get it back going. That'll help your mood as Bob Mitchell aboard top shelf becomes our first qualified ride, and that's the sort of emotion this sport can produce. Well, that's just a fantastic ride by Bob Mitchell. Look, this guy, he don't look it, but he's a rookie. 
not very old. He's trying to win the Rookie of the Year title. And we talked about the injuries. He's had a, a shoulder injury bothering him and just been getting wiped out week after week. And so to come in here, put up a ride like this in a bucking battle is huge, Craig. 90 and a quarter. This was his third bucking battle of the season. It's the first time he's made the eight seconds in this format, and it's a season best. Let's send it to Kate. He just wanted to know what they marked him, 90 and a quarter. So let that sink in right here in Billings. How big is that in this year for you? That's pretty crazy. I thought they said 88. Yeah, Ollie. I seen I, I, me and my sister were driving through town this week. I seen the draw. And I watched him last week when Ramon got on him. <laughs> I couldn't have been more thankful. I mean, perfect draw. HD, that's a good pool. Good pool. Great ride. Congratulations. Thank you. Craig. Well, next time he drives through town with his sister, there might be a Bob Mitchell billboard here in Billings. Oh. Really a good bull. Can get really steep, have a lot of kick in the back end. Blue Duck may have thrown a lot at Manuelito, but aside from that dismount, he's probably going to say more please after that eight seconds. Great ride right here, Craig. This should rival the leaderboard. This is a really good ride. 90 and a half or better, and he moves to the lead, accepting congratulations all the way around. Partner, how about 93 and a half? Well, this is... This is a great ride. You want to know what a great bull ride looks like? This is it. Round to the left the whole time. This bull's giving it everything he's got. Emmanuelito is in great control the entire ride from start to finish. That's how you do it. He was 92 and three quarters aboard Whoopa in Little Rock. This becomes his new career best. Charmer pretty square. There's the nine. crowd thought they could will Kolbaba all the way but Mac you saw it right away when the judges did that touch is why the clock stopped at 3.7 yeah I think it was a it was a clear clear call for the judges to be able to make but I'm really interested to see what these bull scores come in at because this is a huge athletic jump right here finds a spot to turn back look at for that bull touch, score you might not have got him Look, yeah, that's what I was waiting for. Wow. Uh, that is incredibly noteworthy. Coming off the 45 and three quarters last week. Not loving the position, but how about that for a quick knock? They got out clean. And we can all see, once Raiden Solo went to work, the power that he brought. Not only the bullfighters and their blanket of protection, but the sports medicine staff out there immediately. Mac every single time. Well, let's talk about the power of riding solo first. Well, it was a good day for riding solo, but that was just a hard landing from Vassbinder. That wasn't the, the great, huge score that Solo's going to need to overtake a lead, but that landing that, that Vassbinder took was, that's tough, man. See it back here, his upper body back, and then wow. We've documented Eli's injuries over the past couple seasons and how he has powered through them. And here is yet another example of just how tough these bull riders are and need to be if you're at home considering doing this for a living. Eli Vassbinder headed back to sports medicine. If we get an update before we go off air, we will certainly let you know. But you cannot mess him up. Luciano throws caution to the wind, and he combines with safety meeting for our third qualified ride. That was very nice. Really a good job by Luciano. We talked about 
not no. making any mistakes on this little bowl. Luciano was mistake free. 90 points even. Can't do it a whole lot better than this. I mean, this is a such a cool old bull. And Luciano, you see his head, keeps this bull in focus every time, moves back to the middle every round. Great job. As you would expect in a bucking battle with all this bull power underneath the Cowboys, all three qualified rides, now 90 or better. Well, Coop, Kobaba, a man true to his word. And that was not only a qualified ride. Hopefully he escaped some injury there, though. But, oh, gosh. Shades of last week with Lucas Luciano, excuse me, DeCastro after the qualified ride in the bucking battle where then he got stomped and knocked out. This time, Kolbaba very slow with not only the bullfighters but sports medicine right there. Coop, it will be an 88 and a quarter. That's a great ride right there. And getting off of them sometimes can be the hardest hardest part of riding bulls. And uh, I mean, you watch this ride back right here and he is just tapped off perfectly, never gets out of shape. And uh, that's typical Derek Kolbaba right there. Well, and you know what else seems like typical Derek Kolbaba we're gonna show you after this ride ends? This is another look, by the way, at the aftermath. Duck and cover as best he could, but Mac, here's the point I wanted to make, is that he got up under his own power and is walking back to sports medicine. Yeah, and that's that's always great to see. You could hear the fans react to it in here, and uh, good to see him up from that, because that, that was a scary one. Those back feet were awfully close. The clock stops at 5.66, which means one of the judges at least saw a touch. Hmm. They're going to go back and review this, Coop. I want you to weigh in first because coming off of the interview and everything we had hinted at was at stake, it really looked like Dakota squared his jaw and was ready. Oh, yeah, and, and watching this ride back, I didn't see a, a slap or anything like that. Uh, it looks like to me that uh you know he was covering this bull up just right and five six let's see getting around right here i'm not seeing a slap right there i'm gonna say he's gonna get a score under review but based on coops educated opinion which looks clearly evident to a lot of us mac would you agree with cooper yeah I, i'm not seeing it this is a really good look here we'll, we'll have a great chance if there is any contact with the free arm and if there is, it's way up by this bull's head or his horn, I think would be the only possibility of him touching him. Yeah, that's and look, that's the, that's the best ride that I've seen Dakota make away from his hand probably ever that I've got to watch. Let's send it down to Kate. You hear the crowd right now. Just take this in and give us your reaction. Oh, I definitely know I have one special guardian angel up there watching over me right now. You heard it right here. Sense of what this moment means. Oh, this is what it's all about. I mean, being a kid from a small town reservation, I mean, just goes out to show you put in the work, you get after it, you you can make anything happen. And just go riding because the bull's gonna feel good. There's the second one for Lucas. Whether or not it is good enough to move him to the lead, he doesn't care because he's headed to his third championship round of the season. He's been banged up at different times in 2022. All smiles now, it's worth 85 and a quarter. Yep, just what the man needed right there. Not gonna take over the, the lead, but uh, he's got two down. Gives him a shot in the championship round. Let's send it down to Kate. There's that big smile. He had to do his move for the entire crowd right here in Billings and get the big reaction. The momentum you're getting here at this event, how big is this as we're just about a week away from finals? I'm so blessed, you know. I have a hard time in the beginning of the year, but now I'm, I find my confidence again. And I'm ready for keep riding like that. 
and make a lot of good rides for our fans. And the more rides, the more eyebrow uh, tricks that they get to see. Oh yeah, uh, every day we have to do some eyebrow. <laughs> really, as we're showing you on the outside looking in. A committed Cody Jesus getting it done. Coop, you've shared a locker room with him for years. He has so much talent. Yeah, he does. That guy right there, he's got more talent in his left pinky toe than most guys are <laughs> having in their whole body, you know. And when he's on, uh, man, he's fun to watch. 88 and a quarter, Mac, and that's got to be a heck of a pinky toe. <laughs> yeah, it is. And, and look, that's a heck of a ride, but that's what this guy's capable of. When he's healthy and when he's believing in himself and he's all in, that's what he can do. His 88 and a quarter ties with Derek Kolbaba in facing edge of intensity. A very needed eight seconds for Vienna. Question is, will the judges give him enough to stay around for the championship round? That 12 score we just showed you, Halverson 85 and three quarters, and Joao just gets enough, Coop. Yeah, and I don't care how big of a score it is right now. Just it, It's what he needs going into the finals. He needed a confidence builder to have that confidence going to the finals to know that he is still riding good, and he's still got a chance to win this world title. Let's send it down to Gates. How big was that ride with where this world title race is right now? How the ride is so big for me now. I need every bull and keep my body held for finals so good great ride thank you craig he was the co-winner of round number one just what the doctor ordered for dalen and then he lands on his feet on the dismount a perfect Performance for Swearingen here in round number two. Yeah, and this is what you expect out of Dalen with the bull into his hand right here. And, you know, he's what I like about him so much is he loosens up and gets every single point he can out of this bull. Look at the ROB right there. You know, 87 points. Good for him. Glad you noted that ROB rider over bull. Three and a half, Mac. Anytime you see that, you know it's going to go the rider's way. Let's send it back down to Keats. Great ride. You were in the locker room before the round watching some of your big rides back this season. How important is it to get back to that way? Uh, it's really important, especially right now. Uh, this, is, this is crunch time to do it. What was it about that matchup that let you do it? Uh, he was just a nice little bull right there around the left, and it all worked out. Well done. Thank you. Craig. You got to get out of there and get it going on this one. Due time, Pacheco stays out of the well, makes the eight second mark. And if it's 86 and a quarter or more, Kaiki is in the number one position. Yeah, and we talk about Kaiki's focus. Look at this right here, dropped him in the well. Most guys wouldn't recover from that, but he holds what he's got, gets out of there and finishes the ride strong. This is unbelievable. Look, this is a guy that wants to win a world title. This is what that looks like. No way is he supposed to come out of this stuck into his hand like that. Holds, digs, does whatever he's got to. Now he's reared way too far back. Most guys pick their head up and quit on it right there. Not Pacheco. Look, he's still going to get to pick the bull that he wants in the draft, too. Yeah. He starts left, and that's the only direction he needs to go is Vieira outfoxed. Well, if you're Joe Al, for me, this is not how you wanted your regular season to end. On a bull, this is the kind of bull that it could come down to win a world title. He's going to be in that championship round come world finals time. And I did not expect this out of Joe Al. You see his head's up right around the corner. This is a really, really strong bull. You cannot let him pick your chin up. Stark contrast to what we've talked about with Kaiki Pacheco, one of his closest challengers. Oh! As both Dalen 
and Charmer go down. Charmer still looking for targets. They will definitely take another look at this because it was right at the eight second mark that Swearingen was coming off the side. But give everyone credit out on the dirt, starting with Dalen Swearingen to stay in this fight, Coop. Yeah, this is two athletes going head to head right here, giving it everything they've got. Uh, man, this bull, he's a handful himself, but uh, makes the same same trip that he had in the 15-15 bucking battle. But as this ride progresses, he steps ahead, gets Dalen a little bit reared back and brings him. But you never see Dalen letting go right here. And... Uh, Man, I think he gets a score. I think he yeah, hit the ground. I feet. think that's a score. You're right, Coop. And he is going to get a score. This crowd showing their appreciation. Dalen all the way back to sports medicine, it seems. Let's wait for these numbers to come in. He's definitely going to lose a little bit for being out of position, but he still gets 91. Yeah, even, even with being out of position that last half a second like that, 45 and three quarters bull scoring. I think they could have bumped him up there a little higher. That bull buck so hard, big and strong. Swearingen, look, nobody, and I do mean nobody, is any tougher than Dalen Swearingen. That looks like a guy that wants to win a world title right there. No, Coopin, you're right. Sorry to over talk you for a second, but think about the catastrophes we've seen Swearingen yes. go through already this season. Cody Jesus has got a lot of skills. Yeah, it's a great matchup. Ryden Solo did a darn good job there, out cleanly, which you know Cord McCoy watching at home might have been worried about. The ride ends at 5.5, and he gets ever so close, 46 and a quarter for Solo. And he was needing 46 and a half? Is that, is that what it was? Because don't make me start doing math here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave um, that to you, or I'm going to call no. JW. I was going to say, yeah, let's call J-Dub. What do you say? It doesn't move the needle because he absolutely needed 46 and a half to drop that low score. But, Coop, that was a great out for the bull. Yeah, you can't take away from that little bull right there. He's a long ways from home. And, and uh, you know, that little bull is super special, around the left. And he felt Cody over there in, in a good position, smart enough bull to switch it up and go back to the right. Uh, regardless of the score, Court's got to be happy with that. Chance for a third qualified ride. Davino is our new leader as he continues his divine run into Texas. Second a few weeks ago in Sioux Falls. Fourth last week in Nampa. And now in this championship round, Coop. 92 to take the lead. Yeah, and this is big time stuff right here for Davino. Uh, and he's figuring it out right at the right time, heating up for the finals. And uh, to get one down like this, man, it's got to feel go good going into the next couple weeks. Second score of the championship round. We saw a 91 earlier from Dalen Swearingen. Now we see a 92 from Lucas Davino. <laughs> And for the second week in a row, Pacheco comes in in a top position and surprisingly bucks off. Well, and that's the second week in a row that he's bypassed Juju to get to a different bull. And I don't know if I get to the finals and Juju's there in one of those draft rounds if I'd pick around him again. I think this whole arena coop is shocked with that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, this this ride starts out just as good as it can be, but when that bull sets up and go back to the left, you could almost see it. It's, it's his body language goes back, and that bull goes back to the left. And uh, man, I just like McBride. I wish you would pick Juju right there. to that moment for Dakota Lewis. And if the judges have any sense of drama, they are gonna absorb it all. 
91 points. He wins for the first time ever, guys. Man, I've got chills watching this. I mean, this is a great bull ride right here. And there are so many times throughout this bull ride, you don't know where he's going to be on the next jump. But uh, never gives up. Gets the win in his home crowd right there. Great for him. And Mac, what a show from his fellow riders and this bull riding family. We always talk about how they cheer for each other. They came out for the communal hug. Yeah, that, that's awesome, man. Good for Dakota Lewis. That's that's a huge step for that guy in his career. We've all got headsets on, and we can barely hear ourselves from the noise of this crowd. Let's send it down to King. All right. Accepting congratulations there from his father in such a big moment. Dakota, not many people get to live out their dream in the same place it was born. You're doing that right now. So as you soak this all in, take us there with you. What is this like? <laughs> you know, I was standing up here, right here in the same audience when I was about nine years old watching down here with my grandma and my little brother. I looked down here and I said, Grandma, you think I could ever do that? She said, you work hard, you can do anything you want. And here we are, and this one was for her. Pet your grandmother, Nathel, who you told me has been your guardian angel all weekend long, so instrumental in your PBR career. In this moment right now, what words would you have for her? I did it, Grandma. <laughs> Dakota, not only your first career win, but with this, you punch your ticket to the World Finals. You had to make a move coming in here. How did you turn it on when it mattered most? Oh, I got a four-year-old son at home. He said, Dad, you spur them suckers so we can go to Texas. <laughs> so here we are. You did it for Hayes. Dakota, take this all in. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Dakota Lewis rises to meet the moment. Looking at those world standings, there's been some shifting in the points. Yes, Joao Ricardo Vieira will go into Texas in the number one spot, but he'll only be 32 points ahead of Dalen Swearingen, only 80 points ahead of Kaiki Pacheco, and roughly 250 ahead of our two-time defending PBR world champ, Jose Vitor Lemmy. Well, the World Finals from Fort Worth kick off Friday, May 13th. Coverage is going to begin at 7.30 p.m. right here on CBS Sports Network with the pre-show for Justin McBride, Cooper Davis, Kate Harrison, Cody Webster, Justin Felisco, and our entire PBR crew. It's been a great regular season, everybody. I'm Craig Hummer. We'll see you at the finals.